This should be fun. It already looks very pretty. New game. I'm so excited. So apparently, our job is to deliver mail. But I think this is uh, pretty story driven, so it should be a nice, fun, relaxing time. Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, oh Mike. Roy got really sick. No, wait. Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. <laughs> Afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Toxic. Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Look at that computer. Oh, right. This is supposed to take place in the 80s. Thanks yeah. so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. Let's do it. Oh, this is so pretty. Lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Uh, okay. Hey. Looking around. Okay. Box. Deliver mail. Here's your mail. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I am a pro. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts <laughs> 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Ooh, tricky. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Let's get it. This way. Uh, 
Why is this so fun? <laughs> Leave it on the doorstep. I'm calling it a day. That works. Okay, we got power. You're off. getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was Very afraid true. you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'd be so lost without TurboTax. Ah, <sighs> there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out. What time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Okie dokie. Oh, I have my little suitcase. Look at how cute my house is. Is this my childhood home? Do I have a dog? Who lives here? Binky. It's cute. Oh, I can push it. <laughs> That's nice. Nice touch. <clears throat> All right. Let's go explore inside. This game is so pretty. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. Ugh. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. Leave me uh, alone, I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. He is so awful. He's so awful. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Hell yeah. Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Uh, yeah, I will definitely Thanks, need I'll that. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Uh, truck cabin door. Okay. Who do I get to drive already? Ugh. Wait, RP. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to have way too much fun with this. So, I just like park. Like, do they mind? Oh. Oh, it's a package. Okay, right, right, right. Got it. On Main Street. gonna assume it's this one I think right good assumption I hope hello can I help Is this you? yours hello here's today's mail 
Mm, new in town. You I was right. Familiar. I did it. Well, I grew up here and then left for college. To actually, this is only temporary. That's what I said, too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Oh my gosh, I'm causing a traffic jam. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going. Okay. Note to self. Do not park in the middle of the street. <laughs> Um, so this game is already super fun. Okay, I think... Yeah, it's that house. Okay. Let's go. They have a letter. One o three. Wait a minute. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. I am already, like, employee of the month right now. And it is my first day. <laughs> Ooh, come on, step on it. <laughs> like, can I drift? Oh, gosh. Hold on. That package is so far away. Wait, where am I going? Diner. And there the stands Diner. Nice. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Alright. Skirt! Okay. Exit. My 500 Lake. This one. Meredith Wise? As it's me. I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. Ooh, rude. Oh my gosh. It's you, all right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, hello, hello Maureen. To you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. <laughs> uh, I but have work. Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around <laughs> pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? Yeah. <laughs> I'm only, Very true. I will not take no for an answer. Uh, if I drink coffee, am I gonna get in trouble? Coffee sounds good. I think Thanks. I'll be fine. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost oh every goodness. afternoon after school at one point. Uh, you oh, know me too well. You know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar Ashley for me for a bit? A scary. I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Maybe you should check that out, Maureen. M maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof, and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Uh, okay. Well, that was a shit show, Maureen. <laughs> Can I steal cars? Uh, okay. Hold on. I do have to go straight. What is that? Oh, I can fast travel now? Hold up. Okay, so behind me and to the right. Got it. 
Well, wide turns. Oh, ah. Right, we're going this way. Right, it makes me want to be a male person. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, I can honk. <laughs> Ooh, cat lady. Oh my god. Shit, I forgot her package. Look at these cats. Hello! Bing bong. Oh! Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello oh there. God. What's your name then? Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna correct her. <laughs> Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to like be a years brat to be her. Exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost <laughs> oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You oh my gosh. do remember me, don't you? <laughs> Oh, cat bud. <laughs> yeah. Um, how could I forget Miss Mildred How could Jenkins? I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have <laughs> slightly more of them? I'm not I making fun still, of you, lady. Like I like Genevieve it. Like here. And Thomas. And Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Ooh. Yeah, a teddy oh, bear whoops. is a poor substitute for a real hug, that's for sure. Hmm, bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. Whoa. Oh god. Should I be a jerk? I mean, yeah, why not? I have to take it out of the van and I have eyes. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Suck it, Miss Jenkins. We got this. We could I think I can park in the middle of the street here, though, because it doesn't look like there are very many cars up here. In a few days, I won't even need that map. That's very true. Woo! Alright, we're at 300 Lake. Last package. Do I give it to her? Hi there. I've got oh, some okay. mail for this address. Uh, I'm Meredith Weiss. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The, the goose? goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. <laughs> uh, Thomas well, is my father. Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PL than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? 
Uh, all okay. right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. <laughs> Uh, okay. okay, thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Oh my gosh, I think we're almost done delivering mail for the day. I think I have to go, yeah, I gotta go down that road. Got it. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Skirt. Down, oh, all right, off-roading in the truck. Ooh, cute, cute. All oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Cool. There's a new face. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Oh, what the? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave, leave it to him. him. Have a nice I'm day. I'm not going to be nosy. Uh, yeah, thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bull crap. Okay, return to the post office. Oh, we did it. Oh, don't hit his car. Oh wait, can I fast travel there? I can autopilot? What? Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, cutting it a little close, <laughs> Meredith. My goodness. Oh, that's so funny. You can just, like, put it on auto. <laughs> End work day. All right. Yes! Did it! Hello? Hi, Meredith. Ooh, cool sweater. How are you? How's the job? Um, I'm Hi, doing Mom. Great. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Uh, <laughs> Why does it almost have a Sims vibe? Yes, it's not like the Sims. To drive the truck anymore. Uh, I, can I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddy. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. So did they like move down to Florida or? Oh gosh. I don't know, right? Like I went to MIT, I'm smart. I should read a book. <laughs> the Countess and the Carpenter? Oh. Really, Mom? Oh, Never mind. Give it a read. <laughs> the Countess and the Carpenter. Oh my god. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schutenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed. Maybe right I should have watched TV. The gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She turned upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, 
she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Well, good book. 